I know you're unhappy. I know you feel sad. You feel down and out. And you feel like no one sees you, no one hears you, and nobody cares. But in spite of all your issues, in spite of all your problems, in spite of all your symptoms, and in spite of all your signs, you are not depression. We all go through dark times. We all go through shit. We all have obstacles in the way. We all have days and weeks where just everything, one thing after the other, just keeps going wrong. You keep getting knocked down. You keep getting knocked on your ass. Setbacks, things go wrong, things don't work out. This is just life. You know, some things more extreme than others. Some people that are watching, some people that are listening could be going through a really dark time right now. And I know you are. All right, and I know that's the case, but you've got to believe if you just keep pushing through, if you keep getting back up, if you keep going, you're going to get through it. There is always, always light at the end of the tunnel. You've got to believe that. All right, because let me tell you now, the dark times, the dark times are going to come again. There are always going to be dark times ahead. Always. There's always going to be storms on the horizon, but you've got to have the strength and the resilience, the out and out arrogance to just keep getting up and keep carrying on. Don't let life beat you. Do not let life beat you because this thing we call life can be the most beautiful thing in the world if you just keep getting back up and push through. But I can tell you that in the midst of a panic attack, of a true ontological terror, it doesn't matter if you think you're dying or if you think you're going crazy. It's the same thing. Right. You're losing your grip. Right. You're losing your grip even on your own stabilized identity. Right. Because I think, I think mental health, you know, d depression and anxiety are chronic. In the world, it's one of the most diagnosed illnesses now in the world, like more than physical illnesses. Okay, like we have science, we have vaccines, people living longer, healthier, but they're fucking depressed and anxious, you know? And, and we have not good systems, I think, to fill our holes. A lot of anxiety is that fear, it's you're rehearsing a future um, that hasn't happened, right? So you're panicking that something bad is gonna happen, that you're gonna underperform, whatever. And so that begins this um, anxiety loop. And some of that, not all of that, but some of that is born of the fact that you're not confident in your skill set yet. I want you to know two things. Everyone's thinking those things to some extent. You're not alone. Literally, everybody has some of those thoughts. In fact, recent studies show 71% of young people find that the amount of these what-if questions that are going on in their minds are causing them anxiety. It's like everyone's walking around with this voice in their head, keeping that voice a secret from everyone else who's walking around with that voice in their head. People struggling with what ifs is starting to lead to skyrocketing anxiety rates. The second thing is this, you have the power to make it better. You see, nothing changes unless something changes. Why are we so concerned with the story? Look, the brain is wired to tell stories. So when you're physically uncomfortable, it will tell a story. It will that that discomfort will inform the story and give it a negative tinge. You know, sometimes I feel anxious, and what I realize is I just have to pee. And I was like creating this whole story. Think of anxiety just as a peculiar sensation, like when you have an itch. Mm. When you have an itch, you you know you scratch it if you can, and if you can't, you just like let the sensation pass. Try to do the same thing when you're feeling anxious. You know, mindfulness meditators talk about that. Okay, just let it come in. Don't resist it. If you can just feel it, breathe through it. And if you don't allow it to like hijack you, right. it will just pass like just another sensation. What's on the other side of this? These are a lot of things that, you know, in my past I used to struggle with a lot, letting my mind race and race and run. And truthfully, that for me is where anxiety lives. It's where anxiety is born. It's where anxiety begins to find itself taking a hold of me, of not, not taking control of what I can only control. I, I don't know what tomorrow holds. I don't know what's next. 
I don't quite understand um, the landscape of everything that's happening. But what I do have and what I do know and what I can control is right now. And seeing my life in the proper perspective. I always say perspective changes kind of our perception. And for me, the best way that I've been combating the anxieties, the unknowns, is being present in the moment. Um, being present with knowing um, how can I use this time to grow personally? How can I be better at dealing with certain areas in my life? You know, everything was telling me just to give up. Every, I was in a dark, dark place. I didn't know how I was going to do it. I didn't know I was going to push through. I had great people around me, but more importantly, I just, in my own brain, which all of you have the ability to control, in my own brain, I told myself that I could do it, and I just kept pushing through. And, and, and actually became my biggest strength. My biggest weakness at the time became my biggest strength. It became my biggest driver. My biggest inspiration was that sh I managed to use that as a driver to drive me forward and get me to where I am today. If it wasn't for those times, if it wasn't for that sh I wouldn't be sitting here today, where I am today, with the people around me that I've got today. No way. So the dark times are always gonna be there. But I promise you, I promise, if you just keep pushing through, you're gonna see the light. So what if? What if you change your narratives? What if you put your phone down and start living without worrying about what everyone else is doing? What if you stepped out of your comfort zone to meet new people in new circles? What if you studied half an hour longer each night to get into that program? What if I filled my heart with gratitude instead of filling my mind with worries? What if I stopped worrying so much about life and just started living it? And I want you to say this over and over and over and over again until you believe it in your heart of hearts. I am enough. I am worthy. My life matters. I forgive myself. I can and will be happy. I can move on. I love me some me. And it's not over until I'm smiling and winning. Oh,